Donald Trump is the first U.S. president to speak at the March for Life, which is, of course, a gathering for anti-abortion right-wingers. Let's watch a piece of that. Today I'm honored and really proud to be the first president to stand with you here at the White House to address, address the 45th March for Life. That's very, very special. 45th March for Life, and this is a truly remarkable group. Today, tens of thousands of families, students, and patriots, and really just great citizens gather here in our nation's capital. You come from many backgrounds, many places, but you all come for one beautiful cause, to build a society where life is celebrated, protected, and cherished. The March for Life is a movement born out of love. You love your families, you love your neighbors, you love our nation, and you love every child, born and unborn, because you believe that every life is sacred, that every child is a precious gift from God. Because of you, tens of thousands of Americans have been born and reach their full God-given potential because of you. You're living witnesses of this year's March for Life theme, and that theme is Love Saves Lives. Let me go ahead and show you my response to this on Twitter, because I think this says it all. I like how half my segments are just me showing my tweets now. Um, Republicans are unironically holding a March for Life. Glad to see they now oppose the death penalty, our current bombing of eight different countries, for-profit health care. Yeah, I can't, you know, it just, it fills me with rage when I see how hypocritical these people are. Because they mean it in, in the most narrow way possible. That's how they mean it. March for life, as in we think a fucking zygote and a gamete are the same as a fully grown human being, and this is not a nuanced issue that requires nuanced discussion. March for life! If you take the morning after pill, you committed murder, good sir. I mean, you're talking about anti-abortion zealots. That's who he's talking to here. The march for life. But again, they are more than willing and happy to call a gamete or a zygote a life. But then, you know, you talk to them about, oh, what about people who uh, committed a crime and their sentence is the death penalty. Yeah, kill him. I don't give a fuck. What? I thought you were saying how pro-life you are. What? Well, that one doesn't count. Oh, I see. Gamete, zygote, fetus, definitely human being. Human being, not a human being. So, it don't at least change your fucking messaging then for your anti-abortion shit and get away from the pro-life label because you're just not pro-life. Because you're willing, all the time you're willing to change that standard whenever it fucking suits you. A pro-life and the Iraq war. What? At minimum, 200,000 innocent civilians died in the illegal war in Iraq. So what, you can't, there's no conceivable argument for that, that's pro-life. It's not, not by any stretch of the imagination. Nowhere near it. Bombing eight different countries. We kill civilians all the fucking time. With our drones especially. There's no argument that that's pro-life. But they don't care. In, a, in other contexts, they don't care. That's some hippie, pussy, liberal shit if you're in favor of not killing children in Yemen with drones. That's some hippie shit if you're not in favor of, you know, um, wiping out an entire country, massacring civilians to save people from a dictator, even though we support 73% of the world's dictatorships. By the way, is that part of your pro-life? Holy shit. What are we doing in the United States? We're 73% of the world's dictatorships. We give military support to. We're supporting 73% of the world's dictatorships. As we say, we're in favor of freedom and democracy. And as we say, we're pro-life. Really? You're pro-life? You're pro-life for who? Not the people who are living under the boot of those dictators. It's just, they're so fucking hypocritical. It's unbelievable. For-profit healthcare. I threw that one in there because 45,000 people die every year because they don't have access to basic healthcare in the United States. So there's no way that being in favor of for-profit healthcare is pro-life. It's the opposite. You're, what you're doing is you're defending a healthcare system that is literally the worst in the developed world. So you're wrong. You're not pro-life.
You're not pro-life at all. And then, by the way, somebody responded to my tweet, um, Satanist Sin, and said, he added to my list here, the drug war, stagnant minimum wage, uh, defunding CHIP, the Children's Health Insurance Program, cutting social safety nets, police brutality. Yeah, you can make an argument that all those, none of those are pro-life, you know? The drug war, which has killed thousands of people because it is a hot war on the border with Mexico. All the people who've died in the crime spikes because of the drug cartels, which you're giving power to the drug cartels by keeping drugs illegal. That's not pro-life. Cutting the social safety net, of course that's not pro-life. CHIP, Children's Health Insurance Program. Yeah, if you're not in favor of health care for kids, how the fuck can you say you're pro-life? Police brutality. Yes, the U.S. has a giant police brutality issue. Um, how many stories have we covered where it's basically a public execution of somebody who's unarmed? A and these guys are in favor of, you know, the police come hell or high water, by and large. And then, it, there's one more issue to add to that, which is gun anarchy. You know, we don't have a universal background check bill in the U.S. We don't have a ban on, uh, high-capacity magazines in the U.S. And the people who are actively supporting policies that will lead to more deaths, no doubt about it. You could say you're in favor of those policies, but at least accept the reality that it leads to more death. Um, but the same people who support uh, lax gun laws, lax as lax can be, gun anarchy, many of them argue, no, you should have a right to whatever weapons the government has. Doesn't matter. And whatever fucking Raytheon has, you want a tank, have a tank. You want a chemical weapon, have a chemical weapon. Uh, those are the same people who say they're pro-life. So, I, I just, this... Hypocrisy is stunning to me. And Donald Trump, never forget this story. The media dropped it. I, I don't even know if they ever covered it, mainstream media. And by that, I mean CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. I don't know if these guys ever covered it. But in Trump's, fir Trump's first approved raid as president uh, was a botched raid, and they ended up killing an eight-year-old American girl. So think about that irony. The, uh, you know, I'm Mr. Pro-Life because gametes and zygotes and fetuses are human beings in my mind. But... A human being is not a human being. An eight-year-old American girl who we killed in a botch raid. That's a fucking blip in the radar. Nobody cares. Let's move along. How many? How much support did Trump lose among Republicans when his botch raid murdered an eight-year-old American girl? He didn't lose any support. He didn't lose... How much did the... How angry were the March for Life people when they took the life of an eight-year-old American girl? They weren't angry at all. Because they're fucking hypocrites. They're not serious people. And that's clear.